Hey guys, um, so I got the kitchen. Pretty much cleaned. I we gotta do another load of dishes. The little eel. But yeah, so cleaned. No, I'm about to I'm about to do some more laundry. We gotta do all those. And then I watch TV in here and just put up laundry. Oh, it's hot. Hot and sticky. I was cold. Alright. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Um I'm gonna put up laundry and then Oh, I do a time lapse of me putting up laundry. Shit, it's so cloudy. Looks like it's gonna rain. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna be putting up laundry and then um, just watch TV while I'm doing that and then that's pretty much it. Um, I gotta go to the store, get some food for the kids and for us. Um, hey guys. It's 534. Um, hey guys, um, so it's 530. Um, it's Chunky by Campbell's. I want something warm and cold. Relaxing day. Um, waiting for the dishes to get done. They're still going. So. I got the clothes um, hung up. I was waiting until my boyfriend wakes up to go hang them up. Christmas presents, but I've been feeling lazy.
Everyone's skin looks terrible. spots to put you guys. I need to find a good stand. I have a good one for my iPhone, but I need a good one for my um, camera. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, um, it is 9.52. Um, I've just been very stressed and I thought I would talk with you guys uh, for a little bit. Um, hey guys, it's editing Angela here. Um, I wanted to pop in and just um, explain myself. My kind of it's kind of choppy. The next section um, was very emotional. Um, so basically, what I want to do is really pursue online. This as an online business, I really want this to um, basically be my full time job. So if you guys could subscribe, like this video um it really helps out and i hope you guys can come join me on my journey of of being a youtuber and being an influencer um so um subscribe i'll see you guys uh in the next video bye and it's 10 o'clock at night. Um, I thought I would, um, chat with you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to be a cook. Um, well, I used to be a cook. Um, I cooked at restaurants and everything like that. I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. I don't want to work for the rest of my life, paycheck to pay, uh, paycheck to paycheck. Um, I really want to do this online stuff. I need to do this online stuff. Talk about. But I used to be a cook. I I've cooked since I got out of high school. I went to culinary school. I. Went to Texas and uh, went to culinary school there and did a year. Oh, yeah, actually. What am I ashing in? Hi, I'm Angie. Um. I want to document my life. Um, I do do cannabis, but cannabis on YouTube is apparently very bad. YouTube. Um, but I am a cook, and I want to cook with cannabis. Um, it does help me. I have very... Very bad back pain. And and it stems from my job as a cook because I would work from four thirty in the morning till twelve o'clock at night. Because I would work twenty four hours if I could when I first started. Um 
So don't do that. Um, so I have very bad back pain. I have, rather, I have arthritis in my hands and my knees. Um, and my elbows. My elbows were killing me yesterday. It felt like somebody was just like pulling and tugging me yesterday. But um, cannabis does help with that. And it has made, made my life better. Um, let's take a little hit. I usually don't smoke. I usually do edibles. Um, but... So uh, I, I usually don't smoke, but sometimes I do if I don't have edibles or, you know, like that. But, um, I would like to do more edibles, um, that way I wouldn't have to damage my lungs. Um, I do like edibles better. I mean, if you could eat your medicine, why wouldn't you? So... So you're gonna see more cooking on this video, on this, on this channel than you do smoking. So if you guys are into cannabis and you love food, subscribe below. Um, but I wanted to talk about my life and document it. I have a boyfriend named Anthony. Um, he has three kids, and so we do have kids. Um, it's been hard this year. Um, dealing with rent and money, and I tried to go back to my job, but I didn't feel like it was safe. They weren't following mask rules or anything like that it seemed like they cared you were right next to somebody like right there on the line you know and some of the people were kept on pulling down their mask and it was just annoying and i'm just like when i went that one day and i called the next day to the hr and basically we're like We'll talk to them, and then that was it. And then they called me. And they were like, "Well, we talked to them, so when you're coming back." And then I told them I did not want to go to the same restaurant because I felt like somebody would target me, or felt like I don't know, because the company plays favorites. Uh, I've it's I've heard stories and stuff like that but anyways so basically I quit my job so I've been doing Uber, Instacart um I want to see if I can do a script but it's hard you have to do that all day long from 7 o'clock until 5 o'clock or even 8 o'clock I mean it's all Excuse me. It's an all day thing. So, I don't know. I just. I really. I really want to make this. Um. I don't want to, I, I can't live paycheck to paycheck no more.
um, so I've been living paycheck to paycheck since I was a little kid. So I can't do it anymore. This year has been like stressful because not being able to work and it just uh, um I don't know if, uh, whenever this all started in like December I I had a jury jury uh trial that was on um i can talk about it now and everything but that lasts until it was it was in march when we got done so we started in january and we didn't get done until march and so i wasn't really getting paid for my job i was getting paid a little bit they only paid for 14 days and then the court paid the rest which I mean it's not very much so like I lost from money from that and then that's when this all started and I lost my job on March 17 at the airport. And it was just stressful. Um, I don't know if you, uh, any of you guys can relate. Um, I've lived paycheck to paycheck my whole life, and when I was single, it wasn't, I mean, I had more stuff because I didn't have to worry about kids, I didn't have to worry about doctor visits, you know, like, it was easy. But now that I have my boyfriend, it's been stressful. And I haven't felt like I want to work. That's not what I'm passionate about anymore. I'm not passionate about like going to work and working at like a nine to five job. I want to do online marketing. I want to do. I love taking pictures and stuff like that. I like talking about products. I used to, I don't know if you guys ever heard of, uh, was it B, B, Beehive or something like that. I would get free stuff in the mail and it was fun like I could like talk about the product and it was fun to try out the product and uh, you know it was kind of cool. I um there's like dog food like anything like you know, they would send you like full size products of so, like shampoo and stuff so it was kind of cool and so that's what I kind of started get, getting online more. And So I started getting online more when I was doing the, um, I think it's called Bee, Beehive. I'll put it in, 
on the screen when I look through. I haven't done it in like a, a year because they changed it up and then now you get it through your email and every time I click on it it says sorry this came there's this came campaign had an error or something or this campaign is no longer available but I, at first I, for like three or four months I wasn't getting it because they were doing it through email and so I um emailed the company and they were like well we'll put you on the list and whatever and I was like oh, okay cool so I got a couple stuff um I got when this first started everything I got like a little package in the mail of like for uh sickness and stuff like that it was kind of cool um but that's when I started to post more online and everything so and I really like to do this it's it's fun to talk about products and do um, makeup. Um, before I left high school, I was gonna do like makeup and everything, but I wanted to do cooking. Um, I loved it. It was it was so much fun. Um, but I actually I actually visited a uh, cos cos uh, cosmetologist uh, school. Um, yeah, cosmetologist school. Yeah, cos <laughs> can't speak cosmetology school. And I visited and toured it, and I was thinking about really going there. It was like before I started working at the airport and everything. I was gonna go back to school and go to the uh go back to school and do the cosmetology um license and everything um but i got a job at their airport and i worked there for six years six years and it was fun there was a never dull moment so um but yeah um What's it called? And then I found a job that paid better, so I got hired there and did like more personal cooking, and I got more. I liked it because I got to be more creative and everything, and so I started posting more online and started taking pictures of everything. You know, like it was fun. Um, again. Because I love taking pictures and like putting it online and everything. I loved it. I loved doing that. Um, but, I don't know. And then, what's it called? Um, and then the pandemic hit. And so I quit my job. Um, well, I didn't quit. I got furloughed. They furloughed me on March 17. Um, and then I have been out of work since. I've been doing Uber Eats and Postmates and stuff like that and Instacart. So, I've been doing that. I mean, it's okay money, but you have to do it all day. You're constantly on the road, man. I hate driving. I'm very bad at driving. Especially at night. So I usually don't do it at night. I usually just do it during the day. Because I hate driving at night. Um, because I have very bad eyes. I wear contacts. Um, when I was younger they thought I was going to go blind. I have very bad eyes. Um... But I do have pretty eyes. Everybody always says that I have the prettiest eyes I've ever seen. I've actually had people stop me at the airport and be like, you have such pretty eyes. I'm just like, thank you. But I've always wanted blue eyes. I think I had blue eyes when I was like a little kid. 
And then they turn like a hazel green color. Um, but yeah. Um, comment below on if you're got your uh, eye, uh, eye color changes because mine changes sometimes. Sometimes it'll be like a blue, and then sometimes it'll be like a green color. It's kind of cool, but. So, if you guys could give this video a thumbs up, subscribe below, it would definitely help. Um, I want to see how I can get in contact with some companies to sponsor me. Um, I want to vlog how hard it is to start an online business, a YouTube channel. I, I post on YouTube, so I want to document my life on doing that. And yeah. Um, document my life and start doing that. So. I would really appreciate if you guys would watch the video, subscribe, um, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm probably going to be posting more like weed stuff on there because YouTube has really apparently cracked down on cannabis use. People are getting their channel takedown and stuff so. <sighs> It's just stressful. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to do this. How do people start a online business? I just don't know how to do that. Um, and with no money. Um, I keep on getting like on Instagram, like I'll get like companies but they'll be like oh you have to pay this for like shipping and stuff like that you have to pay for the product and then we'll reimburse you and I'm just like mm. <coughs> I don't know about that but do an online business. I want to sell merch. Um, so if you guys would, I'm going to link my sh spot of, uh, Shopify down below. I want to start doing like um, hoodies, um, cups, I'm going to do ashtrays, I'm going to do all kinds of stuff. I want to sell stuff. Um, So comment below on if you guys, what you guys would have in mind for me to sell or, or anything like that. But my battery is flashing right now. I use my phone, but well, I'm almost dead too. Um, but so help me out. Hit that button, subscribe, and come. Join me on my journey of being a YouTuber in 2020. Well, almost 2021. I've, um, I started vlogging in 2019. On, on about Christmas. So I started doing Vlogmas. So I did Vlogmas year, um, last year. So go watch those videos. Um, they're, um, on my channel, so, go check those out. I really, I really like editing, it's, it's fun to edit, to, um, put music with it and everything, so, go check out those videos, I really haven't edited that much this year, um, I need to 
I want to take some classes on like Skillshare. I know Skillshare has like classes you can take and stuff like that. So to get better at editing. <sighs> I've just been stressed all this year. It's been some very stressful year. 2020, you suck. Uh, so, let's take a hit. And I'll see you guys for Vlogmas Day 18. Well, let's take it. Also, see you guys tomorrow for Logmas Day 18.